In this video, I want to talk a little bit about acceleration. Perfect. Acceleration. This is exactly this what is I need to do in my physics. an idea that you're somewhat familiar with, or at least Thank you, Khan Academy, for coming to the there. rescue again. Acceleration is just the change in velocity the over time. Change, change in, in velocity. velocity. Velocity over, over time. time. Probably one of the most okay. typical examples of acceleration, if you're at all interested in cars. I'm totally is interested many in times cars. They will give you acceleration numbers, especially for sports cars. Actually, all cars. If you look up, if you look up in, in Consumer Reports or wherever huh. they give the stats on different cars, they'll tell you something like, I don't know, like a a Porsche. And I'm going to make up, I'm going to make up these numbers right over here. So let's say that we have a Porsche 911. Porsche. Porsche 911. They'll say that a Porsche 911. He spoke they'll Porsche really wrong. Measure it with a stopwatch. He went to MIT and he spoke Porsche wrong. Actually, that's pretty cool. Miles per hour, and these are the exact numbers. Although I think it's probably pretty close. Zero to sixty miles per hour in let's say three seconds. Three seconds. In Sweet. Three seconds. Seriously? So, although officially what they're giving you right here are speeds, because they're only giving you magnitude and no direction, you can assume that it's in the same direction. I mean, we could say zero, zero miles per hour to the east to 60 miles per hour. To zero the miles per hour to the east? Seconds. So what Wait, was the acceleration? I don't get it. How can you have so direction you if you don't have of speed? Change in velocity over so it's time. like which way the car is pointing or something. And but once again, acceleration is a if you're going reverse, quantity. then the car is pointing. Wait, but you can't have a negative. You also care about the direction. It also mm. makes sense because velocity itself sure is direction. a vector quantity. It needs magnitude and direction. I so do care here, about solving these physics problems, we're going, though. We're going to the to the right, zero miles per hour and sixty Wait, miles per hour. to the right or to the east? It's going to be change in velocity. It so let me just write it down with different notation, just so you can familiarize yourself if you see it in a textbook this way. So this is my textbook. In, change in velocity. This delta symbol right here just means change, change in, change in velocity over time, over time. And it's really, as I've mentioned in previous videos, it's really time is really a change in time. Wait, but we could time write, we could just is write a change time in here. time. Three seconds is really a change in time. It might have been. Wait, it might have been. What? Uh, uh, so it's really time is really a change in time. Time is a but change write, in time. You can just write time here. Okay, so it's like time really change in time. and change been, in time are been, both, uh, uh, like, you know, if you look at your second hand, it might have been five seconds when it started, and then it might have been eight seconds when it stopped, so it took a total of eight, of three seconds. So okay, but it's just the number, really, anyway. I just uh, use whatever number is there. Okay, but we'll just so go with deal. time right here. So, or we'll just with the T. <sighs> so what's our change in velocity? So our final velocity is 60 miles per hour. Our final velocity is 60 miles per hour, and our original velocity was zero miles per hour. So it's 60 minus zero miles per hour. 60 miles per hour. Minus and then what is zero. our time? What miles is our time hour. over here? Well, our time is, or we could even say our change in time. Our Wait, change in time. So is you three seconds. use the triangle, or you don't three use the triangle? All right. Seconds. Okay. So it doesn't matter. This it's gives like us. Time with the triangle or time without the triangle is second. just whatever number is there. So this becomes, this top part is 60. 60 divided by 3 is 20. So we get 60. 20. Okay. But then yeah. the units are a little bit strange. We have miles. Instead of writing MPH, I'm going to write miles miles per hour. Wait, per hour. That's the where same did the thing fraction come MPH. from? And then we also, in the denominator right over here, this have is like the we unit with a fraction right is the same as the unit without the fraction. Have seconds, which is a little bit strange. I guess fractions just don't see, matter. The units for units, acceleration right? do seem a little bit strange, but if we think it through, it actually might make a little bit of sense. So miles per hour, and then we could either put seconds like this, or we could write per second. Wait, wh what? Per second. And let's just think about Are what this is Are you allowed to do that with fractions? What's going on? We get into hours, whatever we like. This is saying that every second, definitely this never seen Porsche that before, 911 can do increase to MIT, its velocity so sure it's by cool. 20 miles per hour. So its acceleration is 20 miles per hour per second. And actually, we should include the direction we're talking about. 20 miles per hour so this is to the per east. So second. Is east. And the, this is east right over here. Just so that we make yeah, sure it's that going we east. We already knew that. We're giving if it, the velocity is east and the acceleration is east, so that's every obvious. Every second. It can increase in velocity by 20 miles per hour. So hopefully, with the way I'm saying it, it makes a little bit of sense. 20 miles per hour per second. 
that's exactly what this is talking about. Now, we could also write it like this. This is the same thing as 20 miles per hour. Because if you, if you take something and you divide it by seconds, that's the same thing as multiplying it by 1 over seconds. So that's miles per hour, okay. hour seconds. And although this is Wait, correct, how I mean, is this makes same a little thing. less intuitive sense. Is, this one literally what? says it. Every second, it's increasing in velocity by 20 miles per hour. 20 okay, miles per hour. Hold on. Every second, it's increasing in velocity by 20 miles per hour. But then how is this the same as this? It's like one of them says the fraction, and one of them doesn't like. OK. The fractions with the units don't matter. Whatever. Increase in velocity per second. So that kind of makes sense to me. Here it's saying 20 miles per hour second. Okay, that kind of makes so, sense to me too. Once again, it's not le as intuitive. But we can but make this so it's all in one unit of time. Although you intuitive. don't really have to. You can change this so that you get rid of maybe the hours in the denominator. And the best way to get rid of an hour in the denominator is by multiplying it by something that has hours in the numerator. So hour and seconds. And here, let's, the, the smaller unit is the seconds, so it's 3,600 seconds for every one hour. Or one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds, or What's one, it's like one thirty-six hundred of an hour per second. Acceleration All of, those are legitimate ways of to the car? This, this thing in magenta right over here. But what's the thing in magenta? Multiply, do a little dimensional analysis. Do I have to hour watch the thing in magenta hour, Khan Academy video? And then you have, this will be equal to... This will be equal to 20 over 3,600. OK, so it's like. 20 over 3,600 miles per second you're looking times seconds. At or we could say different miles. Time? You're looking at seconds instead of hours? Per seconds times seconds. You're looking seconds, at a different time? Miles per second. I want to do that in that in another color. Miles per second. Are you looking at a smaller miles amount of time? Seconds miles per second squared and we can simplify second this squared what does that even mean the denominator by 10 you get 2 over 360 or you could get this is the same thing as 1 over 1 over 180 miles but miles so this is totally per different second squared number it's so the same car right it like that and once again, this okay, but make, it's a different you know, acceleration because you're only looking at you a few seconds speed. instead of a whole hour. The whole point hour? here is I just wanted to show you that well, one, how do you calculate acceleration, what? and give you a little bit of a sense what it means. And this once does again, not this make a ton right of here, sense. when you have seconds squared in the in the bottom of your units, it doesn't make a ton of sense. But we can thank you write it like this up here. This is 180 or one over 180 miles per second. And then we divide by seconds again, per second. Per second. Or maybe I could write it like this. Per second, where this, is, where this whole thing is a numerator. So this makes a little bit more sense from an acceleration point of view. 1 over 180 miles per second, per second. Every second, this Porsche 911 is going to go 100, 1 180 of a mile per second faster. And actually, it's probably more intuitive to stick to the miles per hour because that's something okay, that we wait. have. That every second, this every Porsche second, 911 Porsche is going to go 100, is going to go 1 100 of a 1 mile per second mile faster. Per second and actually, it's probably faster. more intuitive to stick to the miles per hour because that's something that we have. That we wait, have. So why are we using stupid seconds on. if they don't make any sense? Another way to visualize it: if you were to look at, if you were to be driving <sighs> that Porsche and you were to look at the speedometer for that Porsche. And if the acceleration was constant, it's actually not going to be completely constant. Wait, if you looked at the it's not it draw it. constant? So 10, what the? 20, How am I supposed to tell 30, if the acceleration is constant 40, or not? 40, 50, Isn't this all about 50, when the acceleration is constant and you're telling me like the acceleration isn't actually constant? Small four I don't even know what constant up, acceleration right? means. How am I supposed to do problems about it? Much beyond 60 miles per hour. But you, what it's you been like 10 minutes. We've done like one problem barely. Right when you're starting, the speedometer will be right Okay. And that every second, it would be 20 miles per hour faster. So after a second, it the speedometer would have moved this far. After another second, the speedometer would have moved this far. And then after another okay, second, that's the obvious. You're going faster. The speedometer is going up. I knew that about acceleration already. Your seat. Wait, what? It's over? This is.
useless. I hate physics.